Ew. Ew. You smell like vanilla pudding. We've had a little confusion this morning. Here's your baby. You gonna push mom? She is pretty special. Say good morning to the people. What are you guys doing? Mom's still not up. Good morning guys, it's Saturday and two more ewes have lambed, which means I think I think we're down to seven left to lamb. One had a stillborn, I'm not sure which one. I'm kind of trying to see the coloring of these lambs, but they look identical. Um, so the next thing I go by is size, and the one looks very much like it should be a single. And this one's a little smaller. She was kind of around it, this one, and the lamb's much smaller than that one. So I'm gonna, I'm guessing that the uh, the twin belonged to this one. So I'm gonna just, they're kind of dry, so the dipping's a little late, um, but I'm gonna dip them anyway. And I'm gonna bring a bottle because those two are gonna need fed. Mama's still not up. They're gonna have to go down on and get trained on the machine. Um, which is a shame, but I thought Mama would be up today, but she's not getting any better, which isn't fun. All right, let's do this Saturday. I thought I would give you a little bit of an update on the uh, Preg Talks. Mom, I still can't get her up. The white one drank awesome again, so she's not feeding them. Um, the black one still will not drink out of the bottle. I'm so frustrated. So this is the like fifth or sixth time I've tubed this lamb. I'm gonna show you what I've been dealing with. Show the people. Maybe you'll just drink for them and make me look like a liar. I'd be fine with that. I want them to feel my frustration. Oh. Tongue sticking out the side. Oh. She should be so hungry, uh, especially this feeding because it's been since like 8.30 last night since I fed her. And it's almost 5 o'clock right now. Oh, it's 5.12 right now. Okay, well, let's do this one more time. Also, best tube ever invented. You're fine. There's a better way to do this, you know. I swear. Well, I finally made a judgment call on this you. Um, I was going to put her down, but I was able to get her up. So now we are in Mission Save Mum. And uh, only because I don't like putting yous down. So she's not in pain. I would rather nurse her back to health and ship her in the future. Now if she's in pain and goes back down and I can't get her up, then of course I would put her out of her misery. I can do that. I can, I can put an animal down if they're suffering. I can't put an animal down when they try. 
So I, uh, I've actually switched protocols. I'm gonna do one more ketone test on her just to make sure we're still not dealing with a little bit of like a milk fever. I have switched the protocol to, I wanna get her eating. I've given her an antibiotic and I have some painkiller in my hand now. Uh, I think she needs to get feeling better so she starts eating. As you can see, she has no babies. I took the babies out, I put them in the, in the uh, bottle baby pen so as to get the white one switched over to the nanny as quick as we can because she's an amazing bottle drinker. The black one, we're going to have to keep working on. I'm probably going to be tubing it till whenever. I don't know. I can't give up on it. But it hasn't got a sucking reflex, so I'm not entirely sure what to do. I gave it some thiamine this morning just to see if it is a neurological thing that might help. But it's good to see her on her feet. Hi, sweetie. Billy, you can't hug it. Hug it. You should be doing okay. Show everybody the poop. So you are drinking. Well, you're not drinking. I'm putting it out there. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Do we have a suck yet? Do you have a suck yet? Anything? <gasps> Thank you. Are we gonna finish this whole bottle? Here we are, a little dove. We're in much better terms now, aren't we? Keep that tongue in your mouth. Good girl. Look, look, no tube. Thank you. You smell like vanilla pudding. Oh, you're my best friend now? We can be friends now. Where are you going? <laughs> we'll see your sister. We'll see your sister. Hi, Billy. You're doing good too. I'm not sure what clicked, or maybe she had a bit of nipple confusion because she was in with mom, and now I took mom away, and she's like, "Well, what are my options?" <laughs> so that was the first bottle drink. So we'll leave her in this pen, and uh, I'll probably just bottle feed her for the day, and then tomorrow we will start training her on uh, on the machine. But Carissa said the little white one already drank off the machine today, so. Oh, what a relief. I should probably check for lambs. Well, you are still up. Hi. You feel a little better? She has been up all morning. So I think maybe just pulling the lambs was a good idea. Okay. We get you here, Scott.
We are down to the final few and the final few days of lambing. There's always a sense of relief when I come here and there's nothing happening. It's also an edit morning, so I have to feed my little Billy girl and then um, run to the house and get today's video up because I am really behind on my vlogs. Good morning. Good girl. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Oh, your little tail does a wagon. Oh, hi. Where are you going? Say good morning to the people. All right, you go back with your sister. Suspicious. Hollowed out. Head down. The only thing that's not happening is anything down there. Weird. another one she's only marked for one but and it's huge so I doubt she's got another one but we're gonna check well, I can't get my hand in so I think we're done So I did check her for another one. I could not even get my hand in her, so I think she's already starting to um, close up here. So I would say she is going to be good with one. And that means I think we're down to six. Oh, and some people are asking what the red marks were for. Those are any use that uh, lost their lambs or I couldn't foster or there was other issues. So that's what those red marks are for. So uh, Jack and I just went on a bit of a walk down our road and uh, I've been checking my cameras because two of these ewes have been laying down, acting suspicious. I think that's the other one. 
right there. Oh, she's pushing good. And this is the other one, so she's been doing all the right things here. We've had a little confusion this morning. That one lambed over there, didn't get up, this one stole it, but this one's in labor. So I am delivering these lambs. Baby. Here's your baby. You ready? There you go. You're only the boy. There you go. Yes, you're welcome. Another one in there? Good morning, you guys. Monday morning. We are on the second last official day of lambing, which to my body feels really glorious. Um, it's actually been a fairly slow weekend, but they've been kind of just trickling out nicely. So we had four, yes, four between yesterday and this morning. These two last night, and these two. Well, that one sometime this morning, and this one just now. So what had happened is I think this one had a probably a pretty hard delivery by the looks of how big those lambs are. I had to help her get up, 
so I, I was a little concerned she was in, like, pinching her, but she got up and she walked down here. So I put her in there, put her lambs with her, um, and then helped this one deliver a set of twin boys. So that, that can, that does happen, you've seen that happen. The one can be in labor and steal. Well, I mean, they don't even have to be in labor. They can just steal. And I'm not so sure those lambs have drank off her as well. But she looks to have good colostrum still. So I think we're down to three, maybe four. I'm going to do a quick count here and see where we're at. Uh, this morning, I have to drive Jack to, uh, to town. He's getting his wisdom teeth pulled. And then this afternoon, actually, Mark and I are leaving for probably about 24 hours. Um, we have our peer group, our farm peer group business meeting, um, and it's on the other side of Toronto, so it's like a four and a half hour drive. So I am actually going to miss the last day of lambing. So Carissa will be in charge, so I'm glad most of them are done. There might be, I'm thinking there's three left. And she's an early bird like me, so I said, what will happen is I'll be probably up at four or five. I said, I'll check my cameras from wherever I'm at, and I said, I'll leave you a text and when you wake up, um, you can come whenever. And she goes, yep, yeah, I'm usually up long before I come out to do chores. I said, okay. So, I think that is the plan. Uh, tonight, if there's any craziness, I think Chris is actually dairy, she's at the dairy tonight, so I'm going to um, see if Jess might take over. So if there's anything crazy going on out here, I might just tell her to uh, take some footage for you guys. <laughs> Good evening, it's been a day or so since I last picked up this camera. I just came in here tonight. It is Tuesday night, maybe nine o'clock or so. I'm in my almost pajamas. I just got out of the car. We've been on the road for about four and a half hours. No lambs today until literally I came in to check on a couple lambs and, uh, or supplement a couple lambs. And you just gave birth. Hi, Mama. I think you're meant for two. How about we move you? Buddy, do you want some milk? I brought you some. I brought you some, sweet pea. Holy, you're thirsty. Well, I'm not sure, but this very well might be my last two lambs. I don't know if that last you is pregnant or not. She looks awful big still. That one. <laughs> But um, her udder doesn't look crazy big, so we will see. If these are our two last lambs, I cannot tell you how joyous that makes me. Two little bellies, one girl and one boy. She is pretty special. Okay, I'm gonna let mom clean these guys off. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of what I was doing today. Um, our peer group is full of 
um, not full. We, there's like, I think, six couples? Six or seven couples. And we get together twice a year. And we tour their farm and we just go over business, things that keep us up at night. And uh, we go over our financials and financial ratios and all these things. What we did today is uh, the one gentleman that we went to lives in Prince Edward County, him and his wife, uh, Kurt and Heather, and they own a sod farm. So we actually visited, they were harvesting today, they were harvesting some sod for some customers. Um, so it was really cool. I've never, I've been to their farm before, but it was in the winter, so we never got to see it actually in action. So today was really neat, uh, just to watch that. It's never long enough, and I kinda always wish we had one more day. Um, but tonight, this is glorious.